In this video, I will discuss about accommodative anomalies. Now, what is anomalies of accommodation? When our eyes are not able to produce required amount of accommodation or may produce required amount of accommodation but can't maintain or facilitate as needed, is called accommodative anomalies. Anomalies of accommodation can be due to lower accommodation than the required, that is accommodative insufficiency, higher accommodation than required, that is accommodation excess, normal accommodation but not able to maintain for long, that is ill-sustained accommodation, accommodation can't facilitate at required distances like accommodative infacility. The most common accommodative anomalies are accommodation insufficiency, ill-sustained accommodation, accommodation excess, and accommodation infacility. The six tests that allow us to identify these anomalies are 1. Amplitude of accommodation 2. Near point of accommodation 3. Negative relative accommodation 4. Positive relative accommodation 5. Accommodation facility 6. Monocular estimated method In this video, I will discuss about how this six test helps us to diagnose these four accommodative anomalies. In coming videos, I will discuss separately about these four accommodative anomalies. Total five videos will cover the complete codes of accommodative anomalies. You can get written notes of all these lectures in our official website smartoptometryacademy.com. Now, outcome of those six tests that will help us to diagnose all these four accommodative anomalies. All these six tests helps us to identify three conditions of accommodative status. One, normal amplitude of accommodation. Two, low amplitude of accommodation. Three, high amplitude of accommodation. One, normal amplitude of accommodation. When amplitude of accommodation is normal, there are two possibilities. A, there is no accommodative anomalies. B, Amplitude of accommodation is normal but not able to sustain for long period of time that is called ill-sustained accommodation. 2. Low amplitude of accommodation. When amplitude of accommodation is low, there are two possibilities. A. Low amplitude of accommodation indicates that I can't exert required amount of accommodation that is required and that is called accommodation insufficiency. B. Low amplitude of accommodation also indicate that Eyes can't facilitate required accommodation at various distances that is called accommodation infacility. 3. High amplitude of accommodation. High amplitude of accommodation indicate that eyes exerting more accommodation than required that is called accommodation access. Now let's see the first two tests amplitude of accommodation and near point of accommodation. For a specific age group, we can identify the amplitude of accommodation and then match with patient's amplitude of accommodation to identify whether the patient is having normal amplitude of accommodation, low amplitude of accommodation or high amplitude of accommodation. Here are the obstetric formula to identify amplitude of accommodation for a specific age group. How to measure amplitude of accommodation? Amplitude of accommodation can simply be measured by asking the patient to focus at a near target that is readable, then push the target closer to the patient till patient reports first sustained blur, that is near point of accommodation. Now measure the near point of accommodation, that is distance from the lateral canthus to the target in centimeters. Then amplitude of accommodation can be identified by using the formula amplitude of accommodation equal to 100 divided by near point of accommodation in centimeter. Conclusion First, identify the patient's amplitude of accommodation and near point of accommodation and then identify the normal value of amplitude of accommodation for this age group by using the obstetric formula to identify whether patient is having normal, low or high amplitude of accommodation. Now negative relative accommodation and positive relative accommodation. NRA and PRA is performed in patient with full correction fixating at near readable target at 40 cm. When patient is fixating at 40 cm, plus lens is added in plus 0.25 diopter increment till target becomes sustained blur that is called negative relative accommodation. When patient is fixating at 40 cm, 
minus length is added in minus 0.25 diopter increment till target becomes sustained blur that is called positive relative accommodation. Now at 40 cm we need accommodation of 100 divided by 40 or 2.5 diopter to see any object. Patients with normal accommodative status will comfortably relax or induce accommodation of 2.5 diopter and will see the target clearly. But patients with accommodation access will face difficulty in clearing plus lens and NRA below will be less than the 2.5 diopter. And patients with accommodative insufficiency will face difficulty in clearing minus lens and PRA value will be less than 2.5 diopter. So based on NRA and PRA value, low NRA indicate high amplitude of accommodation, low PRA indicate low amplitude of accommodation, and normal NRA and PRA indicate normal amplitude of accommodation. Now accommodation facility test. In accommodation facility test, patient is asked to clear plus and minus lens of equal power one after another while focusing at a near readable target. Patient with normal accommodative status will easily clear both plus and minus lens. They will complete more cycle in a minute. But patient with accommodation anomalies will take more time to clear either plus or minus lens and they will complete less cycle per minute. Based on NRA and PRA value, difficulty in clearing plus lens, high amplitude of accommodation, difficulty in clearing minus lens low amplitude of accommodation and no difficulty in clearing plus and minus lens that is normal amplitude of accommodation now monocular estimated method monocular estimated method is performed with a strict retinoscope while patient is fully corrected and focusing at retinoscopic light or a readable target attached to the retinoscope then reflex is observed through the retinoscope Patient with normal accommodative status, reflex will be neutral or slight with movement up to 0.75 diopter. Patient with accommodation access, reflex will be against that is low MEM value. And patient with accommodation insufficiency, reflex will be high with movement more than 0.75 diopter. Based on MEM value, very low MEM that is accommodation access or lead of accommodation high MEM that is accommodation insufficiency or lag of accommodation and neutral to low MEM that is normal accommodative status. In lecture 2 I will discuss about accommodation insufficiency a complete tutorial. Till then stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.